Modern Android devices have potentially lots of apps with background services, and this is exactly as it should be. But it can be problematic when each of those services just runs willy-nilly all over the user's processor. What we see happening on devices in a low memory situation is that there's often a number of background services running, but there isn't enough memory for all of them. And when this happens, the operating system must swap a lot of processes in and out of RAM, known as memory thrashing. And this reduces the overall system performance, which manifests as poor performance for the app the user is actually trying to use. Not great. So why do so many background services trigger at once? Often, it is in response to an implicit broadcast. An implicit broadcast is a trigger that declares an event instead of calling a specific app, meaning that the reasonable use case of passing some data along to another app to do a task for you is lost. Instead, we have the madness of a single app standing up and shouting that it just did something cool who wants to come see. Even worse though, most apps have a static receiver declared in their manifest to listen for these, which means the app isn't even running when it gets the broadcast for this event, so it is woken up solely for the opportunity to respond. And the worst case is an app being woken up to look at the event and then deciding it wasn't interested after all, and we just wasted several precious RAM cycles. The most common instance of this is with connectivity change. On some devices, we've seen more than 40 apps woken up as a result of this broadcast. And when this broadcast is sent frequently, it could mean hundreds of wakeups in a few minutes, crippling device performance. So what's the solution? Well, we're removing connectivity change, as well as a few other broadcasts we commonly see causing this problem. Because any one app isn't a bad actor, but many apps doing the same not so great thing often translates to an overwhelming problem that the, only the platform can solve. So let's talk about these changes. First, connectivity change will no longer wake apps that are targeting in if you declared a static receiver in the manifest. If your app is already running and you have registered your receiver, you can still receive this broadcast, but you will not wake up for it. Now, if you do have some work that needs to be done based on the connectivity change, and regardless of whether your app is running, you'll want to schedule a job with Job Scheduler, or Firebase Job Dispatcher, for the network conditions you truly care about. Instead of passively listening and waking and then checking to see if the connectivity change was the right change for you. And when your app uses Job Scheduler and everyone else's app starts using it, the system can batch all of those jobs, leading to a much more stable situation overall. Another situation is with new picture and new video. This is a critical user experience moment because slowing down the camera by waking all these apps can destroy the camera experience, causing users to miss the moment. These broadcasts aren't sent by the system, but by apps, such as camera. So we're removing it entirely. Note that these two changes are not specific for apps targeting Nougat. All apps on a device that is running Nougat will no longer be able to receive them, regardless of which version you're targeting. Both broadcasts have been fully deprecated in API 24. The alternative here is to again use Job Scheduler, which has been updated to consider content provider changes as a trigger. We're trying our best to move to a world that is dynamic without passive receivers claiming processor time for work that should be done in a better way. So check out the docs for code you can copy and paste into your own app and have some fun getting to know Job Scheduler's updated options. But most importantly, just continue to build better apps.